Buscando producir más carne con menos inversión. And looking to produce more meat with little investment, the cattle rancher Tom Lasseter created the Beefmaster in 1931 in South Texas. He did so by crossing Brahman and Shorthorn F1s with Brahman and Hereford F1s. That's how he discovered that crossing these three breeds gave an excellent return. From the beginning, Tom Lasseter reared and developed the breed so that it could produce excellent results in difficult conditions and by only grazing. This continued for several years until he started selecting based on six characteristic features that deal with economic performance, productive and reproductive efficiency. It is important to clarify that the breed has been declared as pure by the United States Department of Agriculture and the breed is currently positioned in several countries. Beefmaster, the breed designed for the tropics. The first specimens of this breed arrived in Colombia in the year 1991, imported from the U.S. With the passing of time, and thanks to a great adaptation and excellent production, today it can be found distributed across the most representative livestock regions in the country. One of the things that led us to work with the Beefmaster was that we did some tests around 10 years ago by taking commercial white and seven colored herds in order to cross them with Beefmaster bulls. When we saw the excellent results of this cross, we took the decision to try to start working with purebred livestock. Barranca Bermeja is an area with a very elevated and humid temperature and that also made us consider this breed, a breed that adapts easily to any temperature. Because it is a breed that is half Bos Indicus and half Bos Taurus, it is a breed that can really adapt to any climate. Beefmaster cattle's genetic base is based on the crossing of the following three breeds. Brahmin, 50%, Hereford, 25% and Shorthorn, 25%. The crossing was done with a purebred Brahmin and a Hereford, producing an F1. Afterwards, an F1 from a Brahma and a Shorthorn was produced. The crossing of these two original F1s created what is now the Beefmaster breed. These three crosses were used by taking into account the qualities of each one of the breeds. It's known that the rusticity was provided by the Brahman breed, specially necessary for these tropical climates. That is why the breeding took into account the 50% supply by the Brahman, for this is what gives us the rusticity needed for the tropical climate we are in. The short horn provided the breed with tameness and a great maternal ability. The cross with the Hereford is the one that provides us with meat quality, tameness and very good marbling. The Beefmaster breed was developed taking into account six essential characteristics of production. Weight. That parameter refers to a low weight at birth. To achieve easy births, especially for first-time mothers, the breed developed, through selection, a tested ability of gaining weight quickly after birth. Fertility. With fertility, you improve on the factor with the highest economic importance for any livestock breeding farm that which signifies a higher number of calves being delivered in a given time frame. This characteristic was undoubtedly one of the most important ones that served as a base for its creation. Maternal ability. 
females have been selected to produce high volumes of milk and in that way nurse their offspring for longer periods of time, that way providing excellent weight once weaned. Tameness. In the modern livestock industry, it has been proven on several occasions that the tameness of cattle is one of the parameters that contribute to the economic aspects of production. This breed is tame and docile, thanks to its strict selection. Conformation. This means that there exists a balance between structure and musculature. The beef master possesses a voluptuous body and a solid musculature, which are in turn accompanied by a great solid structure. Rusticity. This characteristic makes it a very versatile breed, proven to produce well in different climates. This cattle has a natural marked resistance to parasites and diseases, and can also take efficient advantage of low-quality fodder. Rusticity is surviving and producing a calf once a year at a minimum investment. We find ourselves with a 13-month-old Beefmaster calf. As you can appreciate, this calf is a good example, a calf that shows good pigmentation around the eyes, a calf with very good thoracic capacity and depth, very strong here at the withers, and we see a good detachment of the tail, with good muscles and with excellent aplomb. It is a calf that, judging by its age and the characteristics it's showing, that it's going to be a great calf, one which will surely be used as a donator of embryos here in the farm. With this young beefmaster calf, we can appreciate the breed's most distinctive phenotypic characteristics. We have good pigmentation in the eyes, which is very important here in the tropics, so as to prevent skin cancer caused by the sun's rays. We have an animal that demonstrates very good depth, an animal that has a set of legs with very good aplomb, with large, strong and long loins, allowing us to see a complete representation of this breed of animal. We can also see nicely sized and correctly placed foreskin and good sized testicles. We also know and believe that this is going to be a very good reproductive animal and a good representative of the beef master breed. This breed can present various tones of color that go from light yellow to orange all the way to cherry red, as well as dappled or spotted animals. This does not disqualify an animal, since in the creation of the breed, the colors were defined that way. At this moment, we are looking for a way to have our cattle herd be defined by the color cherry red. Now let's see what are some of the reproductive methods implemented by this livestock company. We have a process for in vitro embryo transferring, which we are doing every 20 and 25 days, currently giving very good results. Our elite herds here in the farm are being used as donors and a group of excellent receptors which we formed ourselves here in the farm by crossing seven colored and white cows together with Beefmaster. At this moment, we are working with American sex-sorted semen, obtaining a 40 to 45 percent success rate in these transfers. When we work with conventional semen, also American, our success rate is 50 to 55 percent. The other method used is artificial insemination, also using excellent American semen. We also get satisfactory results with the 70% of animals worked becoming pregnant. The results of the offspring are also excellent, since the American genes we have been able to obtain on behalf of the association have helped us advance with the quality of the animals.
calidad de los animales. One of the most characteristic representations of the beef master breed is its precociousness. We have established that females are ready for reproduction between 18 and 20 months of age. And with the males, we have had good experiences in the collection of semen. For example, we have collected from 13 and 14 month old males who are producing a good quantity of semen. For direct mounting, without rushing the males but rather leading them gently, we have males working between 16 and 17 months of age. The reproductive parameters we are managing at this moment in the company are to obtain one calf every 14 months. We expect to improve upon this by getting one calf a year. We are currently working on this. We are very focused at the moment on checking the cows 45 days after birth in order to impregnate them 90 days after birth, so in that way we can obtain one calf per year. Calving ease is another one of the beef master's qualities. We come to appreciate this due to the varied sizes of receptor cows we have. Even though the American bulls are heavy, we really haven't had any problems during parturition. The reason we haven't had this problem is precisely that one of the beef master's qualities is its low weight at birth and lots of weight at selling. The average weight of a calf is between 26 and 29 kilos. Any cow in the country, either commercial or pure, can easily give birth to a calf that size and present no problems. This breeding farm has registered some interesting statistics on weaning. Females are weaned at around 215 to 220 kilos and males at around 230 to 240 kilos.